This is Mark Ward for Manchester City. Reed. Brightwell playing it right back. And it's a good cross for Quinn! Delivered by David White. Met by Niall Quinn. And Manchester City in the sixth minute now. Niall Quinn stamps his trademark on the season already. A fine move from Howard Kendall's much improved side led to the opening goal. Peter Reid, belying his age, went down the wing. Heath volleyed, Butterworth blocked, and Niall Quinn picked up the pieces. Niall Quinn delicately swerved a right foot shot past Steve Grizovic with just five minutes left. Helped by the substitute Clive Allen. Quinn's header, it's in! Now Quinn has saved it! After 19 minutes, Ian Brightwell's overlapping run and then superb cross left Quinn only to slot the ball home. Five minutes into the second half, Megson's brilliant pass found David White with space and time on the far right. Inevitably, Quinn finding the back of the net to put City 2-0 up. A goal from a successful combination for them. David White out on the right and the aerial strength of Niall Quinn. A splendid header from the Republic of Ireland international striker. Forrest stuck in mid-table and completely out of sorts. Niall Quinn didn't help things either, his powerful header giving Manchester City an early lead on Cloughy's home patch. And when David White hit the bar, Niall Quinn was again on hand to force the rebound into the net. Four wins on the trot is usually about as long as Norwich go without a hiccup. It was brought about by Manchester City's fourth win on the trot. And a goal of the day contender after two minutes by Niall Quinn. Earlier this week, they travelled to Main Road, Manchester in search of their first away point since the 1st of December. It wasn't to be Niall Quinn pouncing on Darren McDonough's stumble to give City the lead after 20 minutes. Another sweeping City move finds David White in acres of space on the right wing. His cross picks out Niall Quinn, who towers above the orange shirts to head home his second of the evening. Great week it's been for Manchester City's Niall Quinn. First a goal for the Republic of Ireland at Wembley against England in midweek and then a hat-trick for City at Crystal Palace. The first, a simple tap-in at the far post. 32 minutes played. Just a minute later, the big Irishman makes it 2-0. David White, clear. His cross finds Quinn unmarked. And that's a sweet volley beyond Nigel Martin in the Palace goal. Eight minutes after half-time, and it's his hat-trick. Free kick from Adrian Heath, and Quinn in decisively. The player-manager, Peter Reid, absolutely delighted. Niall Quinn's on a brilliant scoring run, as we've already seen. 28 minutes gone, and he adds to his collection. There's some desperate defending by Forrest. Steve Chettle is the culprit. Bread and butter for Quinn. City did their own fate hopes of a European place no harm on 79 minutes. Niall Quinn's header makes it 2-1. On by Quinn, who drives for goal and finds it. Well, at Main Road, they really have formed uh, a great attachment to Niall Quinn. He's revelling in the extra opportunity. And Quinn is onside, if he can get it down here, there's trouble for Sunderland, who scored! Niall Quinn, after ten minutes. So this three-pronged attack pays dividend in as much as one of the strikers makes a goal here and takes it. Point and throw. Heath, Hours miss kicks and Quinn has equalised. Desperate moment for Hours. Two for Quinn, two for Manchester City.
when Sunderland needed to keep calm. Hours tried to hook it away and put it on a plate for Quinn. Poynton, pursued by Ford. Only gets in a really good cross as well. White, Quinn, great goal, City. But what a fabulous cross from the left by Neil Poynton. Five and a half thousand City fans in a crowd of about 20,000. Niall Quinn's 11th goal of the season. And didn't he take it well? But what a fine cross that was from a deep position. White missed it. Quinn didn't. 